hear me well? <clears throat> okay, perfect. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks to the minister and the organizers for inviting me here, and thanks uh, to all of you for spending your Saturday <laughs> morning with us. <clears throat> it's a big thing. Uh, I represent my firm, which is Hepsi Burada, uh, out of Turkey, and uh, in this presentation, I want to talk not just about the company, but about how we do business and actually my expertise about uh, e-commerce, do's and don'ts. And if you have any question afterwards or uh, in the end of the presentation, you can always uh, ask me. Uh, this guy on the right is, by the way, our most handsome uh, TV, <laughs> TV person uh, in Turkey. And uh, he is also uh, our face and the company. Yeah, so uh, Hepsiburada was founded actually 25 years ago, almost as old as Amazon and one of the uh, first e-commerce uh, players in the world. Uh, our founders uh, is, I mean, our founders are one of the most prominent families in Turkey and they own uh, media uh, companies and they decided to get into this business actually way before uh, many companies uh, in Turkey. And for 15 years, we only did retail, 1P, meaning we only sold the stock that we owned in our warehouse. But after uh, 2015, in the last eight years, the biggest shift was to transition to marketplace, third party sellers, meaning uh, allowing other sellers from all over the country and all over the world to directly ship to the final customers. And this changed everything, actually. It stimulated the biggest growth, and although it seemed risky at the time in terms of delivery standard and all the other e-commerce standards, it worked very well. And today, uh, more than 70% of our revenues come from marketplace, and less than 30% come from uh, 1P operations, and it's also very good for <laughs> cash flow and uh, stock turnover rate because everyone manages their own cash. And uh, another milestone is we established our own courier company, our own cargo company. So we worked with other cargo companies too, but we established our own, and then we took it off platform, meaning uh, we don't just serve our orders, but we also serve other marketplaces as well. And now we are the third largest uh, cargo company also uh, in uh, Turkey. We also have partners here that we are working with. Austrian Post uh, also owns uh, companies in uh, Greece and also in Turkey, Aras Cargo, meaning we still work with other cargo companies as well, but although we have our own. Uh, we have a women entrepreneurs program. Our founder is a woman, and uh, actually, significant percentage of our board and uh, our executive members are also women, which we take pride in. It's very important uh, for us. And we established R and D centers. We have uh, official R and D uh, badge, and we have one thousand exactly one thousand in software engineers and also product uh, managers uh, working for our company alone in our R&D centers. We have uh, merchant and supplier financing programs. I think it's very important uh, to finance your own suppliers if you are a big marketplace and if you want to make it bigger, you, you are like, a, I, I, excuse me for the term, but you are like the father of all the vendors. So you have to take care of their businesses also, their supplying uh, power, their marketing, their logistics and everything. So I'm sure uh, I know like Screws, there are big players uh, here. And uh, taking care of your merchants uh, is one of the key uh, success criteria in a marketplace. And we took e-money and payment service provider license. Uh, recently, last year, and uh, I'll tell you about the numbers, but we can now finance our own customers, just like a bank. So the fintech capabilities are extremely important, and in this economy in the world, inflation is increasing. Everyone wants to divide their payments or uh, 
pay in alternative methods. And providing this, I think, is one of the key and most important thing in uh, e-commerce. And not just us. It's like I'll give you an example. For example, in uh, Kazakhstan, it's not a huge country like in terms of population and GDP, but uh, there's a company called uh, Caspi, and Caspi, and there's also there are other companies like Freedom Holding, etc. And their valuation market cap is 20 billion dollars. 20 billion dollars is a huge number, and they did it with fintech. Fintech only, really, like their revenue is smaller than ours, but they had great uh, fintech capabilities, and uh, now they are thriving extremely. And most of the e-commerce players in the world now focus mainly on fintech because the margins are very thin because of the competition uh, among all the players in the marketplaces. This is why uh, having your own fintech capabilities or having strong relations with the banks, especially with the help of uh, governments and economy, I think is the key. The easier uh, the transactions are, the trusted, the more trusted the marketplaces and digital e-shops are, and the economy grows and grows like this. Uh, I'm not going to explain, sorry, everything, but just on the uh, key highlights. Sorry, one more thing uh, here. Uh, the customer loyalty program. We just launched our customer loyalty program last year, and now we have more than 2 million active members. 2 million, and they are paying every month. So they are paying us every month, it's not free, just to get free shipment, uh, a better service, faster service, um, cashback that they can spend in a month, 3% uh, cashback, and one more thing is a TV collaboration. So it's like Netflix, Blue TV is owned by HBO uh, in uh, US, so it's like Netflix. We made a collaboration with them, and they can, if they are subscribed to us, uh, people can also buy profit. So it's a great value for money, but it took us like really months to convince all the players and everything, but the program was a success. So I think uh, in order to stem out of the competition, like go out of the competition and have a loyal customer base, these kind of programs which you don't trick customers, but really give, when you give good value, as you can see, more than 2 million people pay for it. And this year, I think it will be more than four. Uh, we just launched it last year. Uh, very briefly, we are the first and only NASDAQ listed company in Turkey. We are not listed in Turkey, stock exchange. We are only listed in US. Uh, and. Uh, Trust, uh, as uh, you have mentioned, is a very important thing. We are uh, consistently uh, measuring how customers uh, see us and our NPS, Net Promoter Score, which is uh, the most important criteria for customer satisfaction, is 71, which is a good number, which is the highest number in Turkey right now. And in Turkey, we have two main competitors and some other ones. One is Amazon. Amazon established uh, in Turkey. The other one is Alibaba. They acquired the company. And imagine the competition. Like we are, we are there first, but we are uh, always competing with the two deep pocket uh, international players. Uh, our MPS is now actually higher than theirs. So this is why uh, also for Greece, I think it's important to have a strong Greek uh, company which can also uh, in this tough competition uh, compete well with these not just because it's your own uh, nationality but also because it's trusted more by the uh, consumers and uh, we do lots of social conscious programs uh, consciousness programs which I'm not going to go into detail and uh, profitability is important we were spending a lot, man. We IPO'd, we raised over $600 million. Our competitor raised uh, $1.6 billion, and everyone was spending like crazy just to acquire more and more customers, also in the world. But the economy changed. You know, uh, when the Fed uh, 
increase the interest rates, then all this burning money stopped, and now everyone tries to turn to profitability at the same time growth, which is a tough task, but we managed to do it, and this year we are a bit positive. Hopefully uh, it will be so in the following years as well. Uh, we have 12 million active customers. Uh, it's a huge number. It's, uh, if we are to do business with uh, companies from Greece, uh, which I'm going to explain uh, in a bit, uh, I think it's a huge customer base. And we are like neighbors, so it, there are also logistics players that already have built-in systems from also Greece, which can take our products to Greece. And, uh, Greek uh, producers, uh, manufacturers, producers uh, to Turkey as well. And uh, it's not just the number of the active customers, meaning they shopped at least once uh, in the last year. Plus, their order frequency is 8.6, and it's much higher for loyalty customers. So they buy at least eight to nine times every year. So the stickness is very, very important. And uh, some other stuff which I didn't mention before is uh, we have 211 million products, different SKUs in our program, and it's a big number. Uh, countries like uh, Turkey, uh, India, China have big manufacturing bases, although ours is not that big. I think it's important to carry these uh, goods to elsewhere in the world if the prices are uh, profitable. Uh, I mean, I mentioned about this, but it's a good thing that Hipsubra the promise is our motto. <laughs> so we always like, if you come to Turkey, you'll see lots of uh, shopping advertisements. Just, we just advertise this, nothing else. Uh, NPS and Hipsubra the promise. We return, we do returns, free returns, no questions asked and door pickup. So if you want to return something, the courier comes to your door, picks it up, that's it. And uh, nothing more. And we have next day delivery, late delivery, all those options to be selected, uh, which I think really improved the trust of our brand. Uh, I have mentioned about our, our brand strategy, so I'm not going to talk more about uh, these, but uh, what I can tell you is this pro affordability is a huge thing and it will be bigger and bigger in the future. And global, so what do we do in uh, global? Our cross-border arm is more recent. It's building blocks for the leading e-commerce e in emerging markets. So we bring uh, this customer base, this uh, merchant base and this product base to all over the world. And uh, we do this either by ourselves or with partners. Uh, I'm sure you have companies, so we partner with lots of companies. We don't just spend our money and go to every country. And I explain now uh, how we do it. We have a separate app named Hepsibroda Global. So it's in English, and we are also adding new languages one by one. So this is a separate app which can be downloaded now in Azerbaijan and Ukraine, but also soon in other countries uh, in the world as well. And we focus this more for fashion, home, and products that can be sent cross-border easily, rather than, let's say, refrigerators or other stuff, because uh, the looks, the UX and UI of Fashion and home companies and electronics focused companies are actually very different. And ours is, was a more electronics focused company in Turkey. But when we go global, we changed our strategy a little bit. And uh, we actually have entered Azerbaijan, as you can see, and uh, in Ukraine recently. And uh, actually, lots of officials in Ukraine, everyone was very happy because, yes, there's a war, but those people need good stuff. And lots of, and you know, Russian players went out of the market. And there are also lots of companies just don't sell there because there's a war. But 
people still live and uh, most of the country uh, needs lots of products. This is why we, as, uh, we had a strong agreement with a big logistics partner and now we can send our goods to Ukraine too. And this is our own application. There is also another type of partnership which we do is to, is to make partnerships with players like like scroll sighting here, right? Like biggest players in every country. So we don't go directly by ourselves, but with API connections, we provide our hundreds of millions of products and uh, customers, and we become like a super mega merchant. We take care of everything. We already have our vendors and everything, and we just have a logistics connection. And uh, we provide all these products. And uh, it's good also for the, for the country because you can find the products sometimes much cheaper and you get it if it's cross-border maximum in a week depending on the, where in the world you are. Uh, and we have now uh, established an agreement with UAE in Dubai with Noon and Namshi. Now we, they, we sell our products there. We sell our products in eBay Germany. Uh, we are going to sell our products in Walmart, United States. Uh, we sell our products in Kazakhstan uh, in a different marketplace. And we also entered uh, Kosovo and the region, uh, those regions with a player. They just formed a marketplace but they didn't have goods to sell, so they became our partners. We established the technology too. We pushed them, uh, we already pushed them millions of products and now they are available there. But we also do this as Hepsi Global. As you could see, we have 12 million customers, uh, active customers, and as sellers from other countries, you can also sell to Hepsi Burada with our same system. Now we have started with China. We have more than, uh, I think, 5 million products listed in China. And customers in Turkey and Azerbaijan and Ukraine can see them. And when they order, they don't need to do anything. It just comes to your door. You don't need to go and pay for duties. We take care of everything. And we now want to expand our seller base from other countries too. For example, now we are speaking with Korean uh, manufacturers. We are now opening Korean, especially, you know, the cosmetics and stuff, uh, shops in Turkey. And hopefully in Greece, if there's a program like that, if there's an association, merchant association, we can also list your products and uh, make them available to sell in Turkey. And not just in Turkey, but also in Azerbaijan and also in uh, other countries that we are uh, entering. Our revenue is, was uh, more than $3 billion, uh, our GMV last year, and this year we are aiming something like $5 billion. So I think it's a very attractive base for uh, everyone. And uh, yeah, this is it from me. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Oh, oh. OK. Have questions? Sure. <laughs> So you, you're a global player, okay? Yeah. You have uh, 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 just opposite uh, Amazon and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Alibaba. You're a global player. Yeah. What are your plans for Greece? As I explained, our plans yeah. are, we are now exploring it. Yeah. Since we are in uh, NASDAQ, I can't openly say everything, mm -hmm. but uh, there are players, uh, big players in uh, Greece, like the one I mentioned or some others, we would actually, probably we won't come to Greece alone. Okay, I'll tell you. If there are players, already established players, we can work together and- As a merchant. Uh, as a big merchant, but also uh, they can also come to our platform and to sell in Turkey, in Azerbaijan, and other players. So you sell and buy on the same platform. Exactly, yeah. we can do both. Yeah. And uh, if, and there are some uh, countries where we are discussing some joint ventures. So if there are players like big families or holdings 
that want to tap into this business, but are not there yet. If you want, as a country, to create new e-commerce players, maybe we can uh, be partners with them and do this much faster with our technology. Because we already have an app called Hipsibura the Global, and we can easily change its name and everything wherever we go. So it can be not Hepsi Brother, but something Greece, if you want it, if we have a, a merger with a player, for example. Okay. Are you in talks with a uh, company or a Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yes. But you're looking around. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Tell me if you know one. <laughs>